Case number 04539. This is a case where one of you has been overcharged tremendously by Amazon's FBA system. You know there's a pick and pack fee and the first is one price and the second items are different fees or you've been overcharged or your shelf space you've been overcharged because they're measuring your packages as, as being too big or too heavy or oversized when it's not oversized. And Amazon makes these mistakes all the time. So there are ways of getting your money back amicably and there are a lot of great companies out there that do that. But if you've hit a brick wall, if whoever you're using to recoup the overcharges has been unable to get you that money back, then it might be time to take Amazon to arbitration. Arbitration is your dispute resolution system when you are an Amazon seller. It's in your contract with Amazon. It's called the Business Solutions Agreement. Many of you refer to it as the TOS of the Terms of Service, but no matter what you call it, you must arbitrate disputes with Amazon that you're unable to resolve amicably. So in this particular case, before we file for the arbitration, which has filing fees and has costs, and then once you file it, it takes time for Amazon's lawyers to respond and to really get the ball moving, we have sent what we call a pre-arbitration demand over to Amazon's outside counsel, who we know from our extensive experience arbitrating cases against Amazon, they're the ones who are gonna end up with the file, so we might as well try and resolve it quickly and efficiently before you pay the filing fees. So that's what we're doing in this case, and I'm hopeful that when Amazon's outside counsel takes a look at the evidence that we have that Amazon overcharged our client, and then Amazon's lawyers bring that information back to the people that they work with at Amazon that the case will resolve. Now, if it doesn't, believe you me, I have no problem filing for arbitration. I have no problem arbitrating against Amazon. I am an old school trial lawyer and I spent the first 15 years of my career doing practically nothing but trying cases. I did car accidents, medical malpractice. I did a lot of employment cases. I went after the biggest corporations in New York and in the world. So believe me, I got no problem going toe to toe to Amazon's corporate lawyers. And I think I could try circles around them, but the best way of resolving these issues for you is as quickly, efficiently, and inexpensively as possible. And that's what we do with our pre-arbitration demands. And we also constantly try and resolve issues even after we file for an arbitration. You wanna learn more about how we handle Amazon, how we take the decision making out of Amazon's hands when they refuse to do the right thing for you amicably? Contact me in any one of these four ways. Also, if you just want more information about the arbitration process, go to our YouTube channel, put in the search bar, arbitrations, and you're gonna find dozens, if not a hundred different videos, just like this one, discussing the different steps along the way if you need to go after Amazon through the arbitration process.